Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm not ready to be an adult. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Rose Random Bear. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm Rose Random Bear. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, where today, on the day this is uploaded, at least, it's my 20th birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> As you see from the title, I decided to do something that a lot of people do on this platform when it's their birthday, uh, compile like things that they've learned in a certain number of years and make the, these kind of videos as sort of advice type videos, I suppose. For me, this is more going to be for sentimental purposes and I'm probably going to look back on this video in many years and go, ha! Nothing's changed. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoy. Anyway, uh, whether you take this as advice or whether it's just a nice video to maybe bring some peace or clarity or entertainment or something to whatever this year has been. Whatever you take away from this video, I hope you enjoy it anyway. So without any further ado, here are 20 things I've learned in my 20 years living on this planet. So here we go. Other people tend to suck and treat you badly, but not all of them will. Not all of them. There are some good people in the world. The effects of childhood bullying will stay with you probably forever, but they will make you a stronger person. Getting used to being on your own isn't always a bad thing. In fact, you might find that in solitude is where you thrive. Enjoy your childlike, carefree nature while you have it. You know, allow yourself to be silly and free sometimes and just have fun because that part of your personality can slip away with age and you won't even notice. Now, I'm gonna emphasize this very strongly because I still need to listen to my own advice and a lot of you will do, I'm sure. Don't care about what other people think of you. <laughs> For the love of God. Um, <laughs> other people's opinions will hold you back. You are valid the way you are. As cringe as it sounds. You don't have to give one what anyone else thinks. Just be yourself. <laughs> don't hang on to friends who don't include you just because it feels nice to have a large group of people around you, okay? There are other people who truly care about you. If you're hanging on to people just for the sake of having friends, don't do not do it, all right? <laughs> it will damage your self-esteem even more than it might have already been damaged. So just, there are people who care about you outside of these toxic people. Go off and let those people come to you, okay? Or at least don't ignore the people who actually care about you for people who don't, okay? that That's something I have to stress. If, like me, theatre and the performing arts is your escape, value that escape because it can bring you out of some r real holes. Use your talents to bring joy to yourself and others. <laughs> this is advice that I know that me around the age of 15 or 16 would have really appreciated somebody telling me. So if you're around that age, listen closely. Someone will fancy you back eventually, okay? You are not- you're not without hope. Hope is not lost. It will happen one day. Just keep going, okay? <laughs> I think this this is something that those who have been through the UK high school system will be able to relate to probably, but um... High school prom, especially in the UK, incredibly overrated. O overhyped and overrated. Just don't- <laughs> Don't get too excited, it is not this ideological fantasy that we've been presented with with American pop culture over the years, okay? It's it's not the same thing. It's a bit rubbish, quite frankly. I enjoy it, I guess, but it's, it's very overrated. <laughs> Again, this next one is rather superficial, but never stop standing Primark. Primark is great. Moving on. How you dress and then your sense of style is going to change. Trust me, if you're around the age of set 17 and you think you're dressing really well, trust me, two years down the line you'll look back and be like, what was I thinking? But that's okay because, you know, your interests and your preferences and things will change over time and that's completely normal. So just 
to hang fire. <laughs> if you're like me and you have decided that you never want children, <laughs> um, there, there will be people, trust me, who will be like, oh, you'll change your mind eventually. And I'm here to tell you that um, I know you're not going to change your mind, neither am I. And unfortunately, neither are those people. So there's no point getting bothered about it. Just if they have that opinion, you have another per opinion, just let it be. They're never gonna change, and neither are you. So just let it go. <laughs> Do what you feel is right, just always. Even if that makes people show their true colors, and even if that in particular color is green, um, <laughs> that's just the way it is. You've always got to stick by what you believe is right. This is advice I could have taken around 2018. You can't help people who don't want to be helped, okay? You can try. <laughs> you can stress yourself out by trying, but unless they want to be helped, you're not going to get very far. So make the effort by all means. But if that person doesn't want to be helped, then they can't be forced. So just don't stress yourself out about it. Approach every situation with an open mind. Not everyone is out to hurt you, okay? God has always and will always be there for you and you can always go to him for help. And to use Bible quote here, for nothing is impossible with God. To go with the religious theme, God has a plan and he knows what he's doing. Whether that's with a certain person or project or whatever, you know, whatever's going on in your life, it's meant to happen. Just to go with the process, no matter how weird or long a process may be, and no matter how confused you may be getting along the way of like, where is this going? Why am I going along this journey? No matter what, just keep going at it because there is a purpose. <laughs> Try not to build up expectations with any like new thing you're going into because uh, you'll just most likely be disappointed. Just the hard honest truth there, sorry. <laughs> Social anxiety, anxiety in general and depersonalization disorder all suck. Just individually and collectively, especially collectively, they, just, they all suck. They all suck. Um, but mental health is so important, especially looking after your mental health. Um, as you go through life, it will surprise you. Uh, just as you think you have control of it and you know what's going on in your head, it will develop into something else. Um, <laughs> um, but but ju just make sure that you're always checking in with yourself uh, and being kind to yourself and recognizing when something isn't right so you can do something about it. And finally, the big 20, the last one on this list, and probably the one that's mo most relevant to recent events in my life, um, being grateful and appreciating the people you have in your life, the people who are there for you, is imperative. No matter how few in number those people may be, you are never alone. Although right now, obviously, with 2020 and the whole pandemic craziness that's been this year, um, it's very easy to feel, okay, <laughs> it's ironic to say isolated, but you know, it's very easy to feel that way, um, but no matter the distance between people, whether that's just in a social distance context or larger than that, um, there are people who are there for you and people who care for you, uh, and you know, and like I said, you are never truly alone. Uh, and to kind of top this all off, and I know it sounds cliche and very much cringeworthy, but you've got this. No matter what you're going through in life, no matter where you're at, what age you're at, like I said, whatever's going on in your life, just know that you can get through it. You know, life isn't supposed to be easy, which I know, again, cliche and very cringe to say. It's, it's true, you know, life has its challenges. That's the whole point that makes us who we are. So, you know, like I say, whatever age you're at, wherever you are in life, whatever's gonna, whatever's, happening or has happened because again this year's been crazy everything's gonna be fine in the end you can get through this you got this you know <laughs> and there you go that was that video um i got through 20 years of life pat on the back for me uh so yeah as i say this video whether you take it as advice or just pure sentiment whichever i don't really mind um 
for me this is really just a, a time capsule to kind of look back on in a few years I'll probably do a reaction to it when I'm like 25 or even 30 if I'm still making videos at that point um, <laughs> uh, I'll probably look, look back and see where I was at this point in my life but anyway so like I say I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any one of my videos also make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat names which will be as always at the end of this video and yeah 20 years old yeah I'm really not ready to be an adult um, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one Thank <laughs> you.